looks so... Oh, Alfred, your cock is so big. I know. And thank you for that cold open, Bill. <laughs> thank you, Bill. Thank you, Bill, because I could not have wished for anything better. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. But, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you caught the other part, but yeah, Lewis was saying about the whole, does he wear half half his nails painted? Yeah, like, he has, like he's got one hand manicured, one hand manly, and like he's jerking off with a manicured hand, and like on half of him, like it's feminine, the other half is male, and he's just jerking off his wang. Do we want to upgrade the handgun, or do we want to do hang something gun, else? Maybe. Handgun. Yeah. Why not upgrade the thing we use literally 90% of the time? More power? Can't go wrong with power. Ooh, we can do both power. What the fuck? Oh, C, yeah. C plus. No, no, look. It, this will require 1.1... Oh, 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 oh. Gold pieces. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Chronicles... Uh. Alright. But that shit's creepy, though. It is. It's real creepy. Just thinking about the fact that he's just like, because he thinks about his sister like that. Ugh. Yeah, man. They wanted to bone each other. Uh, it kind of reminds me of this other game on PS2. What game? Uh, Rule of Rose. Rule of Rose. Except that involved lesbians. So, much less creepy. No, that's not creepy. Oh, I can't shoot it. Shoot that doll on the left. Ah, uh, Get there. They fell, and we're looking up for no fuck all reason. Oh, okay, so that's nothing important. Well, couldn't tell. Of course it has. Because, similar to Metroid, Resident Evil games can't end without a self-destruct sequence. No. Except Zero Metroid Zero Mission, where the game was so fun it had a self-destruct twice. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Wow. That's fucking amazing. Because basically, you kill Mother Brain, right? Yeah. And because this is supposed to be part one all over again. Yeah, it's a remake. It's a remake of part one. But what happens is that when you destroy Mother Brain and the planet self-destructs, as you're leaving, uh, Samus powers down because she's like, all right, mission done. And then she's surrounded by space pirates. The space pirates capture her take her ship, and then she launches out of a, uh, whatchamacallit, um, eject pod, and lands with, without her armor and without her suit. So that's where the Zero suit comes in. So that's where, yeah, she has to go get her suit back. Oh, okay. Wait, there's a the thing. Yeah, I got it. So that's the whole point of, like, literally the first half of when you get back. Uh, that's why you see the Sam Zero Suit Samus with only the pistol. Yeah. Which, well, it didn't do that much in the fucking game, but... <laughs> it didn't turn to, like, a fucking whip and... No, no. It was just a stun gun. It was just a stun gun. That auto-charges a bit, goes a slightly far range, and that's it. It's just a basic fucking gun. Yep. As basic and vanilla as it can get. I mean, it's supposed to be a last resort kind of gun. Yeah, it, it was. I don't expect it to be all like, oh, baby, now Samus can show her two power with a pistol. Oh, yeah. Got that arm right. gun? Oh, I almost forgot. And then um, once you once you are able to find the Chozo Ruins, you get, uh, you'll get your suit, an even stronger suit, and then you fight Metal, metal Ridley. That's funny. Yeah, and once you beat Metal Ridley, he activates the self-destruct sequence on the ship. And then that's when you, you gotta... gotta and that's where you gotta run. Beautiful. The game's so good, it self-destructs twice. Amazing. Which I had no problems with, honestly, but Metal Ridley... No, sorry. Metal Ridley... No, Meta. No, 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 it's Metal, because Metal Ridley is something else. Really? Yes. I thought that was just the name of no, Metal no, Ridley. No, 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 no. Metal Ridley is the improved version of Ridley. Metal Ridley is a metal variant robot version oh, of Oh, okay, it. so it's just a it's just a robot Ridley, basically. Exactly. 
but Meta Ridley is the cyborg Ridley. Yeah, exactly. It's like a cybernetic version of Ridley. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the one you fight in um Prime. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Christ. This thing can throw stuff. I'll just shoot it and he yeah. can throw stuff. Because that one is a, you know, a more cybernetic version. Because after you freaking kicked his ass on Zebus, then he needed cybernetic implants. Because, yeah. That's just how it works. Yeah. No, he lost his wings and everything. That's fucking amazing. Yeah, he lost, like, one of his claws. He lost one of his claws. Uh, I mean, one of his arms, I think. And, bo and his wings. Wow. So he had to get, like, a cybernetic version. No, because the thing in is oh, that shit. in the middle of the fight, dude, you can, uh, you actually use the heat beam in order to burn that shit off. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Yeah, to burn off his wings and then Man, he goes... you just keep fucking him up, huh? Hey. Oh, who, Ridley? Yeah. I know, right? Well, what do you want, man? He's the leader of the space pirates. I just love how they're just one uniform group called the Space Pirates. Yeah. Not like a group. Not like Ridley's Pirates. Nope. Yes. <laughs> Ridley's Pirates. Ridley's Pirates, man. RP. Yo. And then it'll go. And then it's Can you not imagine like... if they added voice acting for Ridley? Oh God. Yar. My name be Ridley. I am a pirate. Arr. <laughs> Arr. Ah. Oh yeah. Imagine instead of R, he just go like. Arr. He does his. You know, his... Yeah, his signature... Roar. Yeah. For his R's. That is the question. What shall it be? Oh, gold. And a fucking spray. Okay. Really? It's all up to you? Uh, to be or not to be? Um, well, I'm playing near, so to be. Why to be? Because the main character's name is to be. Seriously? Yeah, that's the joke. That's the joke I was going for. Uh, well, yeah. sorry, the joke's lost on me since I don't play near. It's cool. But yeah, her name is literally 2B. Oh, you're playing with a girl? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because wasn't it when you played near 1, you played with a dude? Yup. Depending on the version you played, you either played a young boy or a big papa. Wait, what do you mean version you played? There's more than one version? There's the Japanese PS3 version which you play a young boy who's rescuing his sister. Okay. Then there's the Japanese 360 version where you play a father rescuing his daughter. Okay. And then the Western version, which you only play it as Big Papa no matter what version 360 or PS3 you play. Because the Big Papa version was made for the Western audiences because they felt that the West wouldn't care about... You know, the oh. androgynous skinny boy version. Yeah, oh, I get you. They so it was the same game, but they reanim they did the redid the model for the main And character. story, funny enough, the story is different. Oh, okay. Yeah, like in slight aspects. Okay, but it's mainly all the same game, just changes here and there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, like uh, the father did odd jobs to make money so him and his daughter could live. Uh huh. Uh, whereas the brother. Uh, sold his ass as a prostitute to make money. Yeah. Okay. That's a that's a slight difference. That's a slight difference. Fucking. God damn. Dude, I can't tell what's going on. Literally, all I know is that when we stop moving, there's enemies and there's gold on the floor too. Uh, we, we, we got get it. we get the coin the gold coins automatically. Thank God. There you go. Oh, the hunters. The hunter has become the hunted. Also the dead. But yeah. Oh uh, yes, no. We're gonna just let them. Um... Yeah, we're just gonna open the door, close it behind us, and they won't chase us afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? Re seven? What is this? Just Resident Evil? Nah, fuck that. They're gonna chase us. Yay! We did it. Yeah. But yeah, so. Oh God! Speaking of so Dora, yeah, that reminds that me change. of uh, space. Uh, space. space. Robot Chicken episode I, I was watching. Oh, the one with Dora. Yeah. That shit was funny. No, but it God was, damn it! There was one where they were in an ice area. Yeah. And then uh, Swiper goes to steal her coat because he's freezing his ass off. 
but she just leaves them there. And then, uh, when she comes back when they're leaving, he's just still there and he's slowly freezing and she's like, you know what, I got something for you. And she's like, fuck you. And then leaves. And then you see from uh, Swiper's perspective, you see Death and he's like, Death no reaping, Death no reaping, Death no reap, and then he dies. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Oh, this is a, the tyrant. Yeah, it looks straight up. It looks like Mr. X, straight up. Huh. He's about to die. Why did we just leave? When he's about to die. Because they wanted him to die over here. There, now he died so quickly we still have to go through all this bullshit. Wait, really? Dude, you don't remember when we killed uh, Mr. X in Resident Evil 2 in the sewers? That's like, we still had to go through all this pre canned bullshit. Dude, what are you telling, man? There, there now. You go. Dude, that handgun of power upgrades. It's stupid. I think literally because of that we were able to kill it. Oh, the submarine. Oh, it's the airplane. <laughs> Wait, was that a... That was one screen. No, but what was in his hand? I couldn't tell you. It's dark as balls. Didn't he die like in the first 10 minutes of the game? Who? Uh -huh. Steve? Yeah. Yeah, he did. See how bullshit this is? Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. The plane's gonna take us to the island. Are you gonna put on your your wig, your half wig? Right. What? So it's only me? I guess. Okay, now it's the both of us. Oh, okay. Great. Really? And we'll figure this out on the next episode. See you guys.